this is Alokthon Plays, and I wanted to share a trick that I figured out, or maybe I, I learned it from someone, if so, please let me know if, if you're that person. But I figured out a, a trick to keep track of what I'm doing in a guild trader when I'm trying to sell things. If you're selling one or two things at once, you know, you just uh, go in and, and do your thing. But if you're trying to sell 5, 10, 15, or God forbid 30 things, sometimes it's hard to keep track of what you're doing. Especially when you're on a console, when you don't have uh, the assistance of all the great plugins that, that the PCs do. So here I am at the guild traders in Grotwood, and I happen to be a member of this guild trader. Um, of this guild, so I want to sell. I don't want to sell Sentry. I, I want to sell some Aldem Aldemary Dominion motifs that I got in the last um, uh, event. You see, I have a a bunch of them here. Um, but when uh, when I'm checking the prices. Uh, that can get a little bit confusing when you're going through your recent searches things here. This is the part that I want to give you some assistance on. Because these things are kind of hard to tell apart sometimes. You can see down here, I've got like 20 things that are all something of the century. I'll, I'll talk about that uh, in, in a bit. But how to keep track of where you are on, on the list. And that's what I want to talk about. What you want to do is you want to find two things that you that you try to buy a lot, or that are easy to see in the list. So I often buy zircon plating. Uh, this Psy is short for the Psy Sahan uh, motif, and Alakir is a bunch of Alakir desert maps I was selling. But find something in this list that is either easy to spot or that you're always looking for. So in my case, that's zircon plating. So I'm going to search for that. I'm going to hit X and, and, and search for that. I see the price is currently 24K. Then I'm going to go through the list of, of the things I'm selling. So OK, now I'm going to search for uh, the daggers. OK, now you see that Zircon has moved down in the list. I'm going to move to the next thing under the list. This is the chests. I search for that. I see a price. I, I write that down. Then again, Zircon has moved down in the list. The next thing I'm looking for is the boots. There it is. So then the next thing down in the list, the next thing under Zircon is the axes. There it is. Then I want to finish my list with something else that I buy a lot or that is easy to see. In this case, I want to look for the price for chromium plating. Okay. So now in my list, I have everything I'm trying to sell bounded by two things that, that catch my eye the zircon and the chromium. So I go to the next uh, guild trader Hello there. and I search for my chromium, I search for my axes, I write that down, I search for my boots, I write that down, I search for my chests, and I'm always looking for the thing that's under, in this case, chromium. It'll alternate between chromium and, and Zircon, but there's my my daggers. They're my two bounding things. I'll do a final search for Zircon. Go to the next thing. Oh, this guy had. Oh, this person is down here at five finger discounts. Okay, there's my Zircon. There's my daggers. And this is just. It makes it really easy for my eye to scan for what I'm looking for on the left, because I'm just going to whatever is below Zircon. So the next thing is chromium, so I'm at the bottom of my list. And every time I see a price that's lower than uh, mm. you know, what I want to sell for, I write that down. Oops, I, I made a mistake. I was supposed to search for chromium first. Then I search for my axes. Then I scan for what's below chromium, the boots. Scan for what's below chromium, chests. Scan for what's below chromium, the daggers, etc., etc. And I'll do that again here in just a second with the huge list of the sentry things which I had uh, uh, from a recent trip to Cyrodiil. And that's how I keep track of what I'm when I'm searching for a bunch of prices in the guild traders. Find two bounding things that you'll always that will always catch your eye, and then when you're doing the search, search for the thing below your your boundary. Hello there. 
So here's me using the technique on uh, on something that I'm selling a lot How of. I, I bought a bunch of the um, the Sentry set from uh, Cyrodiil. You buy it for AP there. I got a ton because I was look looking for a, a specific weapon, so I'm trying to sell a, a bunch of it. So there's my boundary cr chrome, and I'm just scrolling down really fast to whatever is below chrome in the list and I'm not even looking at what's going on on the right except to see if anything came up and as you can see I have like 15 things in this list that I'm that I'm scrolling through instead of just two or three like I did earlier in the video Ooh, rings okay uh, I wrote down earlier that these are selling for 4,000 in Mournhold so I'm gonna ignore that Shield. That's the first price I've gotten for a shield, so I'm writing that down on my spreadsheet. Okay, where's my chrome? There it is. So I, I found my place on the list again. There's arm cops. Looking for chrome, ice staff, etc., etc. So I hope you found that this was a useful video for helping you to navigate your huge list of things that you might have on your left. Uh, remember that you can delete these searches hitting R3. You can see all the things I've, I've, I've tried to sell in the last couple of months and being able to navigate this list is really important. I haven't deleted all of these things because I still have some Nord carved curuses I need to sell and I don't want to have to uh, recreate that search. Uh, each time, but um, I also will want to note, uh, like here uh, for the search I did earlier, Boots of the Century, you'll notice on the right, um, it'll say Enchantment Stamina, but it doesn't note that the boots that I happened to sell were in, say, Divines, and that's because when I did my original search, let's see if I have something here, let's get rid of the Dominion stuff, Oh, let's sell, let's spell, sell these uh, spinner's legs. So I just created uh, so something in the re recent search. It's my spinner's breeches light armor for the divine's trait, but I don't want to actually do that. So if I go back here, I still have the spinner's breeches. It's peril, it's light armor, it's legs, yada, yada, yada. Get rid of divine's, set that back up to all traits spinners is always going to be magica so that's fine but put that to any and then do the search again hit square to to submit and now when you go up to the recent searches you have two searches here one which is much more generic than the other this is for divines and in blue this one is just for legs that's it so I delete this search and I add this search to my list that I do with my chromium and uh, Zircon. I hope this uh, helps uh, one or two people uh, navigate the wonderful world of ESO Guild Traders. It took me a while to figure this out. Uh, Guild Traders scared me for a long time. I'm now about CP 1700. I've been playing for two and a half years, so I've learned a few tricks, although I certainly am not a an expert. Um, so uh, stay safe, uh, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.